Hi everyone, this is Ram Babu Vasupilli, CEO of NCPL. In this video, I would like to explain the new training process coming into effect from 1st of May 2024 in NCPL. In the current process, we have one hour of tutor-based training and two to three hours of self-learning wherein we give you Udemy and YouTube courses to do some self-learning and two to three hours of homework which is given by the tutor plus the homework we have defined in the training package. But upon execution of this training in the last two years and then the feedback received from people who got the jobs and the feedback received from people who are currently undergoing training, we have realized that less than 30 percent of the people are the ones who are doing the self-learning the remaining 70 percent they are not doing self-learning at all and the people who are doing homework are less than 60 percent which means 40 percent of the people are not doing hands-on practice at all but even if they are not doing self-learning or even if they are not doing hands-on practice we still have the screening interview after the training is done and then they are getting promoted to the marketing phase if we see some reasonable performance in screening interview but what is happening is when once they are coming into the marketing phase, we are having a lot of problems because we start having the candidates execute the projects during the marketing phase. But more than half of the people are not doing projects at all. Some people say they are not getting any leads, which is why they are getting depressed and hence they are not doing projects. Some people, if they are getting interviews, they say they don't have time to do projects because they are busy preparing for those interviews. But overall, more than half of the people are not at all doing the projects. But if they do not do the projects, they can't go for interviews and they can't crack the interviews and they can't get the job offers faster. So we wanted to expedite the way they get the job offers. Currently, the training phase is taking three months and marketing phase is taking an average of four months. So total six to seven months. But now I wanted to reduce the time it takes to get a job offer in the marketing phase and increase the time during the training phase. So the training phase now is going to be three to four months. Earlier it was strictly three months, but now it is from three to four months, which means candidate have the option to finish training in three months. But if they are delayed in some aspects like doing projects or doing studies, then they might take more time to finish training. I will explain the new training process now. In the new training process, unlike the concept based training earlier, in the new process, we are going to have project centric training approach which means the entire training curriculum will be split into five to eight modules earlier we used to have only one or two or four modules but now we strictly are going to have for any role based training from five to eight modules and these modules are split into some family of topics I'll give you an example. Let's say if you are an Azure cloud engineer, there are some five to six days of training on how to create a virtual machine and how to set up its networking, VP, uh, VPC and the subnets and its security. So after five or six sessions, we'll give you one project on how to create an EC2 instance or a virtual machine or how to set up the networking and security for it. The next topic would be, let's say we are discussing four to five days about storage. So there will be a project on storage. And then the third module can be something related to app gateway or API gateway. Then there is a project going to be on API gateway. So like this, the training curriculum is split into five to eight modules. Now what happens, all these five to eight modules, they either happen independently or they happen in sequence depending on the nature of the module. But a person is not going to promote to the next module until and unless he finishes attending the current module and then get that project reviewed and then approved. So only when he has to attend all the training sessions in that module, he has to finish the project in that module and then he has to get that project reviewed and then he will go to the next module. So while the module training is happening, you are expected to learn each and everything. You are expected to do the project if at all you are able to do and then after the module is completed, 
you will have a couple of days to finish that module project and then you will get it reviewed and then you go to the next module earlier what used to happen whether you do the project or not whether you do hands-on practice or not whether you do self-learning or not you are simply getting promoted to the next module but now we have checks at each and every module this is to ensure that you have all the hands-on practice done during the training phase itself that way when you go to the marketing phase you will not have the stress in doing more projects whenever you get any interviews and also even if you get uh, interviews very faster you will be able to crack those interviews without much practice so technically in the current training phase if you are able to do everything thing on time you are still able to complete the training course in three months but if you delay de doing these projects and with the module already started and you have not executed the project of the previous module then until and unless you finish this module we won't add you to the next module if the module the next module has already started and you have finished this previous module late then you have to wait till the next module starts in order to save time, you are expected to finish these projects on time. So that will save you a lot of time actually. It will do more uh, better for you than, you know, adding any disadvantage or getting delayed in getting the job. We want you to get the job as soon as possible. And this prolonged training phase will help you get job faster instead of delaying your job search process. Because in this process, you are going to do eight projects in the training phase and 20 projects in the marketing phase so which means that you will be technically sound and you will be able to crack the interview in three to four months so i'll have a quick recap about the new training process the current 10 weeks of training is going to become four months of training again as i mentioned from two and a half months to four months you can still complete your training phase in two and a half months if you are able to complete all your projects after each module without any delays but if you delay doing the projects your training phase also gets delayed all trainings will be project based and not concept based anymore from first of may we are updating the training packages accordingly and in the training phase you have to complete eight projects without completing all those eight projects you are not going to be promoted to the marketing phase uh, we are seeing that people are taking leaves during the training phase at their will and wish and we are again going to control that i have set a standard of 95 percent attendance for any trainee to be promoted to the marketing phase so without 95 percent attendance they can't promote so if they have less attendance then they are expected to repeat some modules wherever they are not able to attend then again it doesn't come by default it will come on the discretionary basis i have to approve it because i will ask the reasons why you skipped those classes and i may agree or may not as i mentioned there will be mandatory project after each module this mandatory project has to be completed before you go to the next module without you complete that project upon the satisfactory review of the subject matter expert or the trainer you are not going to be promoted to the next one and another thing we have observed is most of the trainees when one person is submitting his homework in the training group the other person is just downloading the document file and he is just changing the name and then he is putting it as if it is his homework so most of the homeworks are copy pasted homeworks which we are going to control we are not going to accept homeworks in doc format anymore you have to send your screenshots as images or you can record the entire activity whatever you have done as a homework as a video in loom and you can submit that video link and we are also slowly when once the new batch starts for each technology training we are going to get the training packages updated so these training packages take some time because there are about 13 plus trainings happening and 13 into 8 uh, projects we have to add into each training so this will take some time but the training packages will be updated slowly when the new batch starts for the new role but all the existing batches which are currently running they will use the old training batch but we will try to inject projects at each and every level slowly so that is the 
new process. I'm sure this might have come as a shock, but then this is the intention of taking feedback from each and every person. And this is for everybody's good. It won't delay your training phase, but in fact, it will increase the speed at which you get the job. So you don't have to be worried about you getting the job slower. In fact, you will get the job faster in this approach. Okay, hope this is clear. I will cover this process again in each and every onboarding process and then you will understand more better. But meanwhile, you can watch this video to understand the new training process. Hopefully, uh, you will understand. But if not, you can still contact the training coordinators and they will add more information to it. Thank you so much.